Hi and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be giving you five tips on making your weekly meal plan on a budget. Let's get started. So tip number one, know your budget. Knowing your budget is extremely important because it's good to have a point where you know where you're going to, what you're aiming for. If you don't know, you'll never keep to it. Your budget will go right out the window. <laughs> I've done it many times. Number two. Sit down and take your time. So sitting down and taking time to think about your meal plan is quite important. It's difficult sometimes to just stand there and think, oh, I know, I'll do this this week. But then sometimes we forget things that we need, ingredients, or forget sometimes even days in the week. Oh, you thought Monday through Friday, what about Saturday and Sunday? So it's really important for you to sit down, take time, and really think about what you want to do for your week and your meal plan. Make sure when you sit down to bring along some of your favorite recipe books or to have a computer or phone at hand so you can check up recipes if you have an idea. Think, oh, I'd really like to make that this week but I'm not sure what ingredients I need. That's okay, just make sure to look them up and take time doing it. Grab yourself a tea or coffee and just sit down and relax. thinking about planning your meals this week. Really important to think about what's on during your week. So if you have an incredibly busy week, maybe plan some meals that are either tried and tested or you know that are quick or good family favorites. Sometimes I'll do a bit of both. I'll do one where it's a bit more intense, you don't know it, it's something new, may take you a bit longer. Other ones are just quick and easy. I only have a half an hour, let's get this done quick. One more thing to think about, is if you have some picky eaters, sometimes you think, you know what, I'm not in the mood to deal with kids whining about, I don't like this, so you just make something easy. But other days you think, you know what, actually, I'm going to try something new and you may not like it, but that's okay. We're gonna work through it. Number three. Check your cupboards. So when planning your weekly meal, you also want to make sure of what's in the cupboard. So many times I've gone to the shops and I have basically just bought more than I needed or things that I didn't need or sometimes I thought, oh, I've got that in the cupboard, no problem, and then realized, ah, I don't. Which of course means you're gonna go back to the shop and pick it up or you're gonna go without it. So either way, important to check those cupboards and fridge and freezer. Number four. Make a list and stick to it. So you've figured out your meals, you've got them written down, you've made a list. Make sure that you've included everything that you need for the whole week on that list whether it's washing up, whether it's laundry, whether it's anything to do nappies or baby wipes. Um, make sure you've got your lunch stuff. Everything you need needs to be on that list. And at the end of that list, you make sure when you go that you stick to it. So important because it's so easy to walk into the shop, as we all know, and go in and go, oh, look, there's that. And oh, that sounds nice. And well, maybe I could do this or that. At the end of the day, that's your budget gone, blown. So make sure you really stick to that list. Be strict, you can do it. And number five. Stick to your meal plan. And last but not least, make sure to stick to your meal plan. You've taken all this time to write it out and figure it out, think about your week, all the tips involved. Make sure to stick to it. It can be really tempting to go, oh, I just don't fancy making spaghetti tonight or I don't feel like that tonight. But it's really important to stick with that list. Stick with your week plan and give it a go. If next time it doesn't work, you can try finding ways that do work for you, but try sticking to it as much as you can for the first few weeks. 
see how that goes. Well, that's it for this video. I really hope that this video has helped you with your meal planning for this week. If this video has helped you at all with your meal planning, please could you let me know down in the comments and give it a little like. Make sure you subscribe to our channel for weekly videos. We'll see you in the next one.